right, we've got some big Las Vegas Raiders news for you guys tonight. Of course, the Raiders made big headway headlines earlier this offseason, bringing in Antonio Pierce, officially naming him their head football coach after a strong finish to the regular season with Pierce as the interim man. But right now, the Raiders are filling out the rest of their coaching staff, and they're making outstanding hire after outstanding hire. Let's get into this first report. This is from NBC Sports. Marvin Lewis is back in the NFL. The former Bengals coach who worked in Cincinnati from 2003 through 2018 has agreed to join the Raiders as assistant head coach per a source with knowledge of the situation. Lewis and head coach Antonio Pierce worked together at Arizona State from 2019 through 2021. In 2020, they were co-defensive coordinators. So that's a solid move, a solid hiring, right, to really support Antonio Pierce. That would have made headlines enough today, but the Raiders weren't done. They made another huge move. Myself, so let's go ahead and pull up the uh, tweeter or post on X, whatever the kids call it these days. This is from Adam Schefter. The Raiders are expected to hire former Cardinals head coach Cliff Kingsbury as their offensive coordinator per league sources. All right, so what do these two stories tell us about what the Raiders are doing with Antonio Pierce? There's one thing if you bring in a new leader, a new head man, and you just throw him off the deep end and say, figure it out. Try and see if you can do it. Sink or swim. And sometimes that works. A lot of times it doesn't. And there's another thing you can do if you're setting up a new leader is you put him in positions to be successful. You hire Marvin Lewis as an assistant head coach, a guy who Antonio Pierce has a great working relationship, a guy who knows Antonio Pierce, a guy who knows defense, a guy who knows NFL coaching to help out Antonio Pierce learn to become a head coach and all of the different formalities and bureaucratic issues that a head coach has to go through. Great hire there. Not throwing Antonio Pierce off the deep end, giving him a lot of chances to be successful, setting him up for success. Now you follow that up with bringing in Cliff Kingsbury, a proven smart offensive mind at the college level and then at the professional level with the Arizona Cardinals. This guy is smart in terms of how he sets up his game plans. He's smart in terms of how he play calls, sets up his play calls. He's smart in terms of how he develops offensive talent. He's proven it throughout his young career, uh, Cliff Kingsbury has. Antonio Pierce, one weakness, if there is one, is setting up those things on the offensive side of the ball. He's a defensive-minded guy. Obviously, that would be one deficiency in his game. So what do the Raiders do? They bring in a guy who knows how to handle from the uh, soup to nuts, right? Building an offensive game plan, developing offensive players, running an entire off offense. Cliff Kingsbury did that with the Arizona Cardinals at the NFL level. Of course, he did that at Texas Tech in college and recently was a USC Trojans analyst as well. So again, the Las Vegas Raiders, for the first time in a long time, are setting up their head coach to be successful. We saw it with the GM hiring. We saw it with the assistant head coach hiring of Marvin Lewis. And now we see it with the offensive coordinator hiring of Cliff Kingsbury. This is a new era for the Las Vegas Raiders. And I think we're going to start seeing a lot of results on the field because of it. Myas, I'm curious what your thoughts are on these reports involving the Raiders. But first, Raider Nation, comment section below. Between these two hires... Which one do you like better? Do you like Kingsbury as the OC, Marvin Lewis, a assistant head coach, kind of chief of staff, so to speak, for Antonio Pierce? Let us know which one of these two guys you really like as the better hire and put them in the comment section below. But, Myers, give me your thoughts on these two moves by the Raiders and just the general direction of this Las Vegas franchise right now. Yeah, I think these are two great hires, and I think they're two very different hires. Obviously, one's offense and one defense. That's the, you know, the elephant in the room. That's the obvious right there but they're too different as far as their head coaching experiences. I think there's a really interesting dichotomy that Antonio Pierce can learn from here. Marvin Lewis, a long-tenured coach in the league for the Cincinnati Bengals. He was able to get things under control. He was able to do defensive work as a head coach and had a very long, successful career as the head coach of the Cincinnati Bengals. On the other side, there's the more flash-in-the-pan head coach guy like Cliff Kingsbury, he came over to the Cardinals. There was times where the offense looked good, but they were never really consistent. Kyler Murray up and down. Cliff Kingsbury, also another interesting uh, head coaching story as well. So I think, you know, this is probably not even close to one of the top reasons the Raiders brought these guys in, but these are two really good examples for uh, Antonio Pierce to come and lean on. Obviously, he knows uh, Marvin Lewis. They are very close friends. And that co-defensive coordinator season in 2020 shows that they can work collaboratively on the defensive side of the ball. I think that's very important additive there. But he can talk to them. Hey, how are you so successful? How are you stable? You know, the continuity is something that's really important. How are you able to stay in the league for so long? And on the other side, you go to Cliff Kingsbury, a guy who obviously is going to help him 
with the offensive side of things, but said, hey, you were in Arizona. What went wrong there? Why did things start to fall apart at the end? Give him that sort of advice as well. So outside of the obvious, I think, offensive and defensive things uh, that these guys are going to help with, I think they both bring very unique and very good experiences for Antonio Pierce to learn and grow from. And I think it just seems like the Raiders keep making smart move after smart move. I'm getting really excited for this team. And I one added thing, Cliff Kingsbury, obviously a quarterback guru. It seems like the Raiders probably looking for their next quarterback as well. So it won't hurt to have him on their roster in that time as well. So I think Raiders doing a lot of great things. I'm excited to see this team and what they do in free agency, what they do in the draft. Yeah, let's take a second here and kind of evaluate everything the Raiders have done. And I want to focus on this again. I think it's so important. The Raiders are setting up Antonio Pierce for success. What is Antonio Pierce's, look at Antonio Pierce's weaknesses, because every coach has strengths and weakness, and Antonio Pierce has a few. Number one, he doesn't have a lot of experience being the head coach of an NFL franchise, obviously. You know who does? Marvin Lewis. He had that really long run with the Cincinnati Bengals. Bring Marvin Lewis into the fold helps mitigate Antonio Pierce's weakness, allows Antonio Pierce to avoid pitfalls in that direction. Another Antonio Pierce weakness. He doesn't know the offensive side of the ball as much as he knows other areas. No, it doesn't know offense like he knows culture and defense. What do you do? You bring in an offensive guru like Cliff Kingsbury, right? Again, address the weakness. How about Antonio Pierce as a head coach? Part of that dynamic is he hasn't had to handle a lot of the GM-ish kind of relationships, right? So what do you do? You bring in a Tom Telesco after you hire Antonio Pierce to make sure that relationship is 100% collaborative. Everyone understands the pecking order. And Telesco, obviously coming from the Chargers right away, knows the entire outlook of the roster. He's got all the scouting evaluations from his time with the Los Angeles Chargers ready to use to support the front office there. So again, mitigating a concern, a potential risk with Antonio Pierce. This is how you set up young new head coaches for success. A lot of franchises haven't done that. Like the Las Vegas Raiders have failed at this numerous times. But I think we have to give a lot of credit to what the Raiders leadership under Mark Davis has done. But it's also, I think it's really important here to give a lot of credit to Antonio Pierce. Because here's a guy who I guarantee you signed off on bringing Marvin Lewis into the fold. Right. Another former head coach. There could be some egos, you know, bashing there a little bit. But Antonio Pierce says, no, I want to work with that. I want a smart guy in my corner. Same thing with Cliff Kingsbury, former NFL head coach. Could be some ego bashing. Antonio Pierce is like, nope, I want smart guys in my corner. I want smart guys on this coaching staff in the front office to mitigate the things I'm not very good at. And the Raiders definitely support it. And again, like you said, Mize, it's smart move after smart move in Las Vegas. And it won't be long before starting to see more improved and consistent results on the field because of it.